how to practice proper etiquette on a BlackBerry, smartphone, or other PDA. Make sure your love for your BlackBerry or other PDA device isn't making you obnoxious. You will need consideration and common sense. Step one, don't walk and use your PDA at the same time. It slows down those behind you and can be downright dangerous at an intersection. Sidestep foot traffic and stop for a minute to read or type instead. Step two, use portable devices judiciously during a meeting. Nearly 90% of workers in a survey said it's rude. Half would ban them from meetings altogether. More important, your boss may think it's disrespectful. Two thirds of executives do, according to a separate poll. Step three, don't use your PDA while someone is speaking directly to you. If you're expecting a crucial call or message, inform them you may be interrupted. When the call comes through, excuse yourself to answer it. Step four, at a larger gathering, check messages discreetly. Hold the device down low so it's not in the speaker's sightline and be sure to turn off any keyboard clicks or beeps so you don't disturb those around you. Step five, unless you're expecting a call momentarily and need to be hands-free, remove your earpiece. Trust us, walking around with a gadget in your ear is not a good look. Step six, redefine the word important. How many messages is it really necessary to reply to immediately? Step seven, when signing off on emails, keep in mind that XOXO annoys 25% of people surveyed and cheers irritates 13% of them. Step eight, if you find it impossible not to check your messages compulsively, leave it in the car or tucked into a deep pocket of your bag when something important requires your attention. Like any other addict who goes cold turkey, you'll eventually realize you can live without your fix, at least for an hour or two. Did you know? 16% of people polled admit that they've texted or emailed someone during a funeral. 